In the previous video, we built the session manager class for managing the user that's currently authenticated. We can set the user, aka save the user that's authenticated. We can remove the user, aka log out, and we can observe the user using live data. So if I inject this session manager into any class, I can assign an observer and react to changes to the authenticated user, or in other words, you could say like the authenticated state. Now in this video, I'm going to refactor the view model to make use of this new class. So I'm going to inject it as a dependency and get rid of our current way of observing the authenticated user. That way we can reuse the, that same cached user in you know, any class in our application. So the overall goal here is to make the request in the view model, but we also want to observe the authenticated user uh, from the session manager. So the session manager is kind of like the, actually it is, it's a single source of truth. And you should always try and follow this thing called the single source of truth principle uh, whenever you can, whenever possible, whenever you're getting data from anywhere. Uh, if you don't know what the single source of truth principle is, I have a video on that where I talk about it. Uh, I'm surprised this video didn't do better, but I think maybe it's because people don't know what the single source of truth principle is. It's a very, very important principle when it comes to software development. And it, if you understand it and you always try to abide by it, you will improve your code drastically. So, you know, I highly recommend, it's only six minutes, I highly recommend uh, checking that video out on my channel. Single source of, source of truth principle in software development. That's what you want to watch. All right, so let's uh, let's get started refactoring this. So first I'm going to delete the mediator live data. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to be injecting the session, whoops, session manager. So I'll call it session manager. And I need to add that to the constructor. So session manager, session manager and then set that here. So this dot session manager equals session manager. That's going to inject it into our view model. Uh, next, let's see, let's change this method. So we're still going to be observing this same data type an auth resource of type user. Uh, I'm actually going to change the name of the method though. I'm going to change it to observe auth state because we're going to be observing, basically we're going to be observing the authentication state. Uh, and the thing I want to return here is session manager .get auth user. That's that method that we created inside of the session manager. So we're observing something from the session manager. Now the next method we need to change is uh, authenticate with ID. And I'm actually going to break this up into two different methods. Uh, so the first one I'm going to create, I'm going to come down here, private, it's going to return live data, auth resource, and it's going to be of type user. It's going to be called query user ID. This is just going to help kind of keep things organized and keep things more testable. Uh, if you don't know anything about unit testing, don't worry. I'm going to be doing a course on that next. So uh, that's 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 to come. Uh, this is going to take the user ID, and then inside here, I want to do what we did up here. So I'm returning this live data object right here. So I'm actually just going to cut that out so it's gone now. I can delete this, and I'm going to return that right here. So I'm, I'm using the same kind of methods that we did before. Nothing has changed. I've just broken it up into kind of separate methods. So this, this query user ID method is only responsible for querying the user ID uh, and doing kind of all the Rx Java stuff. So if there's an error, it will return an error. If it's not, then it will return that auth resource authenticated uh, user object. So now let's come back up into the authenticate with ID method. I don't need this loading status anymore because if we look at our session manager, I'm setting the loading status right here. So this is this is no longer needed. I can delete that. And what do I need in here? Well, first I can write a log, I guess. So I can say attempting to log in because that's what it's going to do. It's going to attempt to log in the user. And I can delete this because this code is actually inside of the session manager now too. So if we look in here, that's essentially this kind of block right here. So I can delete this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to write session manager dot authenticate with ID. So authenticate with ID. And then I'm going to write that query user ID method and pass that user ID method. So everything is, that's pretty much it actually. Um, so now this view model is leveraging our session manager class and it's going to be, it works, you know, the same, the activity, nothing has changed for the activity. If we look in the activity, um, there's a little bit of red because this method has changed. So I just got to change this, change the name of this, observe auth state, but that's it. Everything works exactly the same 
but there's a lot that's different. We're now observing the user object from the session manager instead of observing it from the view model. So let's, uh, let's run this and let's take a look and see if everything works exactly the same. I'll open the log to, so we can see if uh, the user is authenticated. I'm gonna to need to add a filter. So com.coding with Mitch, adding a filter, click okay. Uh, get the app on the screen. I'm going to type in any user ID, it can be anything from one to 10, clicking log in. Uh, you saw that progress bar brief, briefly show on the screen and it says log in success. So everything's working exactly as it was before. Nothing is different other than now we have a way to uh, kind of scale the management of our authenticated user. So a much, much better way to do things. Now in the next video, I'm gonna start working on the next component, the next subcomponent. that's gonna be main component. So if we pull up the diagram, that's gonna be this kind of section right here. So that once a user is authenticated, they will be redirected to uh, main activity, which is where our other fragments are going to be hosted. And it's going to be all of the dependencies for main activity and those fragments are going to be isolated in this other component, another subcomponent known as main component. I uh, just wanted to kind of interject here. This is breaking the regular course flow for this course in this video. I just wanted to kind of quickly interject and ask you a favor. So for those of you who don't know, I make my living from making courses. I make online content and I have a membership on my website where I have premium courses available to my members. And uh, since I stopped making courses for Pluralsight, that's pretty much, much exclusively how I make my living. So that's how I literally pay my rent and I buy food and I keep existing. Um, so I wanted to just kind of take a second and ask you, if you get any value from my courses, to please go to my website, konigmitch.com, and leave a testimonial. So just go to more, go to testimonials. Uh, if you, if you want to leave a testimonial, all you got to do is create an account. It's free. It takes literally 30 seconds to do. And click on write a testimonial right here. And uh, this will pop up. You can leave a comment here saying, you know, like, Mitch helped me get a job or whatever. Uh, leave a rating. My mic is falling down. Um, leave a rating and submit that. And that, uh, that would really help me. It helps me to everybody who writes a testimonial uh, is, is another piece of proof that my stuff works and my videos work and you get jobs and you get better at being a developer. You build the app that you always wanted to build. All of these things. So if, uh, you know, if you get any value from my courses, from my, from my videos, I would appreciate a testimonial. Thanks. Let's get back to the course.